Hi buddy, it's Derek from 9D Diagnostics, going to do our Corona car tip for today. Um, so as you all know, we're all in a lockdown and only essential travel is allowed for uh, frontline staff or um, if you have to go down to shops or what have you. So for most people, um, your car is going to be sitting outside or in this underground car park um, for an extended period of time. Now what can happen is, is that your battery is going to um, drain over that period of time and then when you come back to the car, um, the car may or may not start, it may be sluggish to start um, or it, it just may not have enough voltage there to turn the starter motor over and, and um, get you up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you two methods to keep your battery charged um, over the next uh, two weeks, possibly longer the way things are looking at the moment. So um, it's probably crucial that you want to make sure that your battery is fully charged. In case you do need to go somewhere, you don't want to be going out and then trying to um, borrow jump leads off somebody and nobody wants to answer the door to you. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so the first item you can use, you can use a battery charger if you have one. Um, you can pick these up if you have, hopefully you have one already, um, in the likes of Lidl or Aldi. Um, sometimes they have them. Um, or you can get one in a motor factors. Now, a lot of the motor factors are closed, um, but I do believe Southside is still open, um, and they do have them for sale. So this is what we use, um, just to keep something charged up. We don't use it in the workshop. This is just for what I have using at home. It's a small charger, um, and it'll keep your battery uh, charged. So basically what will happen is, It'll, it'll charge up your battery and then once it gets to fully charged, it'll stop charging um, and then as it sees the voltage drop back down, it'll bring the voltage back up again. Quite simple um, and that's what, that's what we use. I'll just give you a little quick demonstration of how this um, is actually operated. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to connect the connections to the battery. Um, your positive, which is your red, to your red lead and your negative, which is your black lead, to the um, black negative lead. And once that's on, you will get um, a battery voltage reading. This will go either green or red. If it's red, you've got the terminals crossed or there's something wrong. If it's gone green, we have a battery voltage reading. And then our three options on this is whether it's a bike battery, a car battery, or it's cold outside. So it's not a bike, um, it's a car battery. And then you can also select if it's cold, so below five degrees. And then from here then, it will start um, charging the um, battery. Um, and it'll it'll come up depending how bad it the battery is it'll it'll come up fairly quick and um, if it's quite bad it can take a few hours to do it and then once it gets up to its proper level then it will say charged and when the battery voltage starts dropping off it will then um, start charging again so it'll keep this battery up to its optimum level and um, for a um, as long as it needs to be okay Okay, so if you don't have a battery charger like that or you can't get access to your car whether it's too far away or it's in an underground car park or what have you, well then the next best, best option is, you have two options. One, bring the car for a drive but um, you're not technically supposed to be going out. Um, and the next thing option is, is to run the engine for maybe 30, 40 minutes. So start your engine, leave everything off. Um, no fans on, no lights, no radio, leave everything off and just leave the engine running for 30-40 uh, minutes. Obviously with yourself in it because you don't want somebody coming along and taking your car um, and that will, should be enough for the, um, the alternator will then start charging your actual battery um, and that can be enough to keep your battery topped up um, at its level. Do that once a week and you should be fine and uh, to kill a bit of time why not watch a few of our videos and uh, keep you entertained, okay? So stay safe, don't forget to wash your hands. 